What's up guys and welcome to an exclusive bit of gameplay on Codemasters brand new grid game which is set to be released in just four weeks time on the 11th of October. Uh, a couple of days ago I was invited to a capture event held by Codemasters and they gave me an hour to play through the game on free play and career mode and uh, this is some of the footage that I managed to capture. So uh, yeah when you jump into the career mode this is what it looks like. So you've got touring cars, stock cars, tuner cars, GT cars, and then you've got some single seaters as well as some uh, invitational sort of special cars, I guess you could say. So uh, yeah, today I'm going to be looking through the Fernando Alonso section because as you can see as I'm scrolling through now, there is a uh, special Fernando Alonso section of the career mode where you can access the uh, the FA Racing Team liveries, the uh, Kimoa, uh, obviously, Fernando Alonso's main sponsor. Uh, they've got liveried cars, and uh, then you sort of work your way through this. You've got different classes of car, mainly single seaters, and then you go through to a showdown where you race against Fernando Alonso in his 2006 title winning car at the uh, Malaysian Grand Prix circuit. So, I have got some footage on that. Um, and if you are happy to be seeing this grid gameplay and you want to see a bit more from me, uh, I have got quite a lot more footage than just this video, then do make sure to leave a like down below. And if you've got any questions at all on the, on the grid game and uh, anything that's included in the career mode, this is pretty much the finished build. So uh, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. One thing you will notice, unfortunately, from my videos it, that is that there is no audio. I did have audio when I was playing, but uh, unfortunately it didn't capture properly uh, on the uh, on the sort of capture card that they were using. Um, but Codemasters are going to send me some B-roll through of uh, some gameplay that I can show you guys with some audio. So jumping in to our first event then, it is the Urban F1000 series, uh, where we'll be driving the Jedi F1000 car, which is just a 1000cc single-seater car, really, um, around a couple of street circuits, and there you can see the FA Racing Team and Kimoa Racing liveries, really, really nice. And then, um, this part of the video, I guess, is just sort of showcasing the amount of customization that you've got in it to your car. So you can see there's all these different types of sort of livery style that you can choose from. Um, and then underneath that, you can also customize the colors, which I will show you in just a second. So I was just sort of looking through a few liveries. I uh, thought, you know, sort of show off the customization element that they've got in the game. And you can see they've literally got every color under the sun. I was actually trying to look for a Veloce style livery, like with the Veloce camo, uh, which is sort of quite synonymous I couldn't find one in this video, but um, if I'd have just literally scrolled across another couple of tabs, I would have found it. Uh, fortunately, I did find it in future videos, so you'll be able to see that um, <laughs> in the future, exactly what it looks like. But uh, yeah, for the meantime, we're just going to run sort of like a checkered flag livery. And it was just really nice, uh, really good addition from Codemasters, because obviously in past racing games, you, you're very much tied to what liveries you can use. And F1... Also a Codemasters game, they've sort of jumped on the customization aspect of it with the new multiplayer car. And I think this is sort of going along the same sort of line. So, you know, if you've got a favorite color or a favorite type of livery, you can sort of showcase that. Unfortunately, no sponsor customizability, so that'd be nice for them to add in the future. But uh, yeah, without further ado, this is what our car looks like. And we are jumping into the first qualifying session um, and just a flying lap around the Shanghai street circuit that they've added to the game. So that is something which I really enjoy about Grid is the fact that you're not just racing on conventional race circuits. Um, you can sort of jump into these into these street events because Grid really, and it's it's very much apparent with this game from the sort of hour that I uh, I played on the game, it's not a particularly serious racer, uh, racing game. It's more of a game where you can sort of jump on in a very sort of casual, arcadey feel to it. Bearing in mind, this was my first, well, second lap on the game, I think. I think I did one qualifying lap before this. This is my sort of best attempt. So yeah, I, before this, I'd done one lap on the game. I was playing with the controller. I usually play with the wheel. But it was really, really easy to just sort of pick up the controller and do a lap like that. I was running it on a hard AI, but I think I had max, maximum assists on at this time. So you can see I went quite a bit faster uh, than the AI. And bearing in mind that was my first lap on the game. So it's very easy to sort of jump in if you're a racing veteran and, uh, you know, set quick time straight away. 
but you can sort of strip away the assists. So you've got ABS, traction control, and stability control. And it's like a sliding scale between zero and five. So obviously with this being my first lap on the game, I was running sort of maximum assists. I was on a controller as well. So that would have been disastrous without assists. But uh, as the hour went on, I started to sort of strip away the assists and it really became a lot more difficult, even though I was on the same difficulty setting. Uh, so for this first race, I thought it's going to be pretty boring for me to just race away from pole. So uh, I dropped to the back of the field and uh, sort of, I think I turned the slide in scale of um, assists down to three. So we were on pretty much half uh, ABS, traction control and stability control. And uh, yeah, just sort of thought I'd see how I can uh, go through the field. Um, the AI, in terms of the AI, you can see they've got numbers above their heads. So each driver... Um, has got their own sort of skill level. So I believe the skill level goes from 1 or 10 up to 99. So uh, you'll see in future videos when I race Fernando Alonso, he's got a 99 above his head because he's obviously like the ultimate racer in the game. But uh, the drivers that you uh, race against to start with are of quite a low skill level and uh, they're sort of quite similar to the skill level of, uh, of yourself, of the player in the game. So uh, Leo Garnier is uh, sort of 12 rated. So think of it as a little bit of like uh, like FIFA Ultimate Team, um, you know, or, or FIFA Career Mode. That's sort of like the skill level that you're up against. Uh, the defensive and attacking traits, I, I and I assume will will get better as the, as the skill level increases. And you can see Louis Andre just three seems to break very early and go off the racing line there. So yeah, pretty interesting to see exactly what the skill level of the drivers is like. Um, maybe you know, sort of the higher level they get, the more they stick to the racing line, that sort of thing. But yeah, that's a really nice addition, um, a little bit different from Autosport. Um, talking of Grid Autosport, I did find this game, I'd say it was a hybrid between Autosport and the original Grid. Now, I didn't play a great deal of Grid 2, as I don't think many people did, <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I, obviously, I think most people will say the original race driver grid is probably the best in the series. And this game, I would liken to that the most. As we see a spinning AI car, he was level two, which shows that he's very much a rookie. And uh, yeah, so he goes spinning round and we go up to six positions. So we've gained quite a lot of positions. Uh, but yeah, I was saying that this probably reminds me of the original race driver grid more than Autosport. Obviously, Autosport was more of sort of a serious racing game. And as I mentioned, this is more just like a pick up and play. It's not the sort of game that you'd sort of have to play religiously um, to really just be able to jump in and have a good race with the AI. Um, as you can probably, you know, you could probably chuck F1 into that category now. You know, you sort of have to really refine your skills on it to be to be very good on the game. But bearing in mind, this was my first ever race. I was on hard difficulty so the difficulties go easy medium hard very hard so this wasn't the the highest and I, the, the gap from hard to very hard was was quite big as well um but yeah i sort of just a, was able to jump in do a very good fastest lap and sort of go from 16th to 6th in just a uh, just a few laps so that was the first race you can see alexander dawn eden uh driving for the fa racing logitech g team just like he does in real life. So a uh, nice little addition for Dawn Eden. Of course, ex Veloce driver. Um, raced against him in the squad sprint series. Uh, so yeah, that was really enjoyable just to uh, to have him in the game. And uh, this is the screen that sort of comes up afterwards. You can see it says Nemesis bonus there. Um, so what it does, it sort of pits you against one of the um, one of the drivers in the uh, in the race. And they're sort of your Nemesis. Um as you go through like the racing series, if you say crash into them or sort of have continuous battles with them, uh, then that's who's sort of picked out as your nemesis. So I believe it was Nick Whittle was like, a, I, I assume that's like the default chosen one on the game. But uh, yeah, if you have like good battles or like I say collisions with other drivers, then they'll sort of turn in to your nemesis. So going into the second race, it was a uh, reverse grid race. So we were starting in P11 um, after finishing sixth in the previous race. And again, we've got three laps this time around the Havana Street Circuit. One of my favourites, definitely, of the hour that I played on the game. I did manage to do quite a few circuits. But in terms of street circuits, this was a really, really fun one. As you can see, we're going around the outside of a few drivers here as that turns to the inside quite quickly. 
But as I, I think I mentioned before, one thing I really, really like about the Grid franchise is that you can just jump onto these street circuits, quite ridiculous circuits, and uh, just race on them. As you can see, I utilised the flashback feature for the first time. That's what it looks like. Um, the AI were breaking quite early into that corner, so I have to use another flashback, which is pretty embarrassing for me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, apart from that, didn't really feel the need to uh, use any flashbacks. and You can turn them off if you're more of a hardcore racer. Uh, I think I had it on four. I didn't utilise all four. I think those are the only two that I used during this race. But, uh, yeah, you can also, if you're a hardcore racer, you can go on to zero flashbacks. And if you're more of a rookie, you can go on to unlimited and uh, I think you can rewind about 10 seconds or so. It's pretty similar to the F1 games in that respect. But uh, here we are up into P8. And you can see how much I'm chucking about this car. This F1000 this F Jedi car, um, which apart from Fernando Alonso's R26, is the only single-seater in the game. Um, I, I'm trying to think what I, what I could liken the car to. Um, a little bit like the sort of Formula 3 cars maybe on Project Cars. Um, it's sort of that sort of uh, that sort of level, not sort of you know greatly fast cars, but single seaters which you can just sort of chuck into corners, and yeah, just such good fun, such good fun to do. Um, you may notice that I've, I'm racing in cockpit view here. Um, unfortunately, there is no T cam option on the game, which is a little bit disappointing for me. Um, but I know Autosport definitely had the uh, definitely had the T cam, but they've obviously chosen to to do away with it. Not sh not too sure why, but uh, yeah, we, we're stuck in sort of the cockpit view. I do a couple of races in the sort of chase cam view as well as we see another mistake from one of the AI, which is always sort of good to see, and they're just sort of drifting through these corners, which is really really good to see as we uh, pop it over the curb there. And this is a really, really fast section of track. You can see I've got AI cars all over my gearbox uh, as uh, we get a little bit of uh, oversteer through this section of track. But yeah, just really, really good fun around this circuit. And yeah, I've shown you a couple of, of street circuits in this, but we also do have in the game uh, more established sort of permanent circuits. So, for example, you've got Malaysia and Silverstone in the game, as well as Brands Hatch, which is, of course, a non-F1 track, but still quite a famous race circuit. And uh, the Codemasters guys said that they are looking to sort of add future circuits as, uh, as a free DLC. Um, not, I didn't actually ask whether they were planning on doing the same with cars, because uh, I would like to see a couple more single-seaters in there. Obviously, I am, you know, biased being an F1 and single-seat fan. Uh, but, you know, even some of the other cars that they've got in the game, they've got like the Le Mans prototypes, which of course Fernando Alonso has raced with in the last couple of years, um, which I enjoyed I enjoyed driving. And uh, I also did a bit of classic touring cars, which you'll see in the future as well. They were particularly very, very good fun. So yeah, you've still got sort of quite a wide range, like Autosport and Project Cars have offered in the past. Um, but yeah, I'd say this is still probably most similar to Race Driver Grid. Not a, a real serious game, as I'd say Grid Autosport probably lean towards. Um, yeah, Grid Autosport, you were tr sort of trying to work your way up the ladder. This, every event is available from the get-go. Obviously, you get more rewards if you finish higher up, but it sort of doesn't penalise you if you're not too good a racer. But uh, yeah, that sort of concludes the uh, the first video that I've done on uh, on this Grid build. Like I say, if you've got any questions on the gameplay or just on the general game itself, make sure to leave it down below and I'll do my best to answer. But you can see P5 in the championship. Not bad considering that we started at the back of the grid uh, in the first race and then pretty low down in the second one as well. But uh, yeah, Alexander Dawn Eden, ex Veloce boy, taking the win in this series. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video, probably later today if I uh, get enough sort of response on this video. But until next time, guys, do take care. Bye-bye.